Morning everyone, the tractor, tractor, the shed, or the tractor shed is now looking pretty clean. Everything is all palletized and stacked so that you can see exactly what it is, ready to load on two trucks this morning to join the convoy of three that are already there and there's some others coming up as well. I'm just dropping the trailer off the disco, I think the damp has gone in the front now. It's got a Bradley hitch on it this one but it's banging backwards and forwards so I think this gas truck that lives in here is knackered. The problem with having a big tank on the sprayer is you've got to put a lot of stuff in. So all this is going to go in do 54 hectares. So we've got different growth regulators, pumpy sides, micronutrients, basically the recipe. Back on the fungi side now, Andrew is over there spreading fertilizer still. We should get it all sort of finished today, hopefully. There's another 724. There's a pheasant here running in front of me. They're so lazy, they just never want to fly. Oops, there we go. Rob's getting a lesson on the sprayer. <laughs> we seem to have the M6 as well down the side of the field there. But people have been walking. This is one of the fields that are like country file to film in because it looks quite good. But because of where the airport is, over there, yeah, and them trees, they can't use a drone here. So we had to use a field that looked a bit rubbish and had wild oats sprayed off in it. This block done now, Andrew's just finishing off there. He's done that one. I'm just down the track now on the way back to the last field of the day. The capacity of this sprayer is awesome. It's beeping at me now because it's saying it needs our blue and diesel. But to be able to do, you know, 120 odd acres in one tank full is amazing. I have been out for a while and I'm getting hungry now. That is the only drawback. But I'd have had so much running around today if I hadn't got a bigger, newer sprayer. So thank you everyone that's watching. Because don't forget, you watching the basement sprayer. Oh, I've got my tractor addict uh, hoodie on as well today from, uh, I forgot what she's called. The... Uh, Artful Farmer's Wife on Facebook, that's it. And links on Instagram as well. She's actually called Beth, but I thought it's better to say the name of the people that do it rather than saying Beth. You want to know her name, so yeah, the Artful Farmer's Wife. This should be a field of oilseed rape. It's got a little bit of weed in it. But the pigeons are still absolutely hammering it. And it's getting to the point now where we're probably going to have to pull the plug on it and leave it and um, sew it with something else because it's just, you know, it should be two or three foot tall in flower. And look at it, it's not even two inch tall in places. What does look big is weed. I hate pigeons. There's the gas gun there and then the rape at this side of the field is sort of still there. But anywhere away from the gas gun, it's just gone. Got stuck behind Andrew on the fence. Spray is there, uh, goes a bit quicker than the fence, so he's actually holding it up on the fence. Spray does about 60k, the tractor does about 56. back to the concrete and then we'll get him loaded. Just loading the last wagon now. They're all lined up ready and there's two behind them. The other three or four or haven't arrived yet at Chester. So I think there's only going to be seven leaving from here instead of instead of the ten but four from Chester because they're not going to arrive till 3.30. This wagon driver said he couldn't back down here despite all of us being able to back down so we'll have to take it across the bumpy yard to which is a bit of a shame. Looks like some travel cop going with this one. Andrew's out again, last load hopefully. The bum's gathering in the shed now. I'm just gonna put the last pallet on. But we've got a cuddly toy to go on the top. It's one that Olivia said wouldn't fit in a box but we can put it on top of the pallet.
the rear police car looks like a Tesla. Yeah. Last pallet now. <laughs> Are you going to put some air holes in it so we can breathe? To me, to you, to me. There we go. Hope we don't bang his head going in. Last wagon loaded with 20 minutes to spare. You get the paperwork done in seven minutes yeah. though. Yeah. Even five. <laughs> yeah, so we've got one of the balloons. Is it all that? One of the balloons is in the tree. We've we've lost a few actually, we've lost Yeah, the uh, I and E and the O have blown off. We know where the O is, but we don't know where the I and E are. Burns here. What does it say on the top? Slava Ukraine. Ah, right. <laughs> I don't know.
Ukrainian in Poland, and he was helping us to start the study here. Ami, she was the one that came, and we know it was Happy birthday. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> thank you so much, Carmen, for good. <laughs> Wave your hands in the air. Chip is back from its holiday at the Sunflower Maze. Nick's JCB is here for anyone with eagle eyes. Just escorted it down the road rather than getting it stuck in the field again. Just with the spud planting gang now. Stu is on the planter, we just brought him some cake because he didn't have time to come and get some because obviously his shed's being used as well for aid so there's two more load leaving, or three more load leaving his shed this afternoon that we were supposed to collect yesterday. So Anna's just brought him some cake and I brought her up in my car because someone went home with her car keys in their pocket so she's been stranded at our yard. So we've come round to drop cake off. We're just starting on this headland now. field done then I think. So one bed former, a bed tiller and two D stoners. Just about keep up with the planter. The shed is empty. We can now put the tractors back in it, wash them all off, get them all lined up so they look cool until harvest when we've got to start filling it with barley, which won't be that far around the corner. I must just thank everyone that's been in here over the last few weeks and also thank the police for sorting the bikes out today so that we can try and keep all the wagons together. Right, today's quiz question is, remember that little buggy we had on demo? Well, if we were to get one for harvest, if they can get us one, what colour should it be? Should it be green or should it be orange? Let me know in the comments today, what do you think? I kind of like the whole hive is orange, but then equally it looked quite cool in, in green. So please leave a comment of what you think it should be in below. The birthday bumper is massive today. I can't read them all out, but I will. it's obviously Ian's birthday, so he's on the top there as well. But there they all are. So if your birthday is on there, happy birthday. If it's not, and your silly birthday, happy birthday. So oh, £1,175 now is what the birthday bumper's up to, which is amazing. And they're growing again, but at least now they're growing, it means we're raising even more money for the rare ambulance. So thanks for having the patience to watch them and thanks for everyone that's donated. If you wanna put someone on the birthday bumper, do it on the day of the birthday through the link below these videos. I get loads of messages saying, how do you get on the birthday bumper? It's the link below this video. Go on there, click on, make sure you put the person's name in the comment whose birthday it is. Otherwise, the person who's donated ends up on there when it's not their birthday so it's that's it's dead simple just do that so thank you everyone that's donated that is all for today bit of a random day waving off the trucks fingers crossed that they all get there safely and some of them are actually going to be going into ukraine so thanks to everyone that's donated money to make them that happen as well and all the volunteers that help sort it uh, big thanks to anna as well because she's speaking all the different languages has sorted all the trucks and done everything like that and also Adama I need to say thanks to them because they've been funding some of the trucks so Adama make chemicals so today I was spraying the fungicide so a bit random fact for you there but yeah that's all for today thanks for watching I've got quite a lot of Ukrainian flags homemade coming in which are pictures of oilseed rape or different flowers so here's one today and then tomorrow I'll try and add a few together otherwise I think I'm going to get because I'm getting like four or five a day I'm going to end up with a backlog so I might clear a load of them tomorrow and I'll show you some really nice pictures that people have sent in bit of a waffle there thanks for watching see you tomorrow